inform more on the latest developments in football, pati na rin itong retirement ni Lionel Messi. Kasama natin yung ng analyst na si Mikey Carion. Mikey, welcome back to the score. First of all, nakablock ka ba dahil sa pagkakalo ng team of <laughs> At Spain? nakatago ba ang Spain jersey mo sa ilalim ng lamesa? Wala ng Spain jersey this <laughs> time. <laughs> so, but uh, seriously, ito uh, isang pinag-uusapan ngayon, itong ang retirement ni Lionel Messi yes. sa international football. What do you make of this, Mikey? Well, very shocking yung news na yun, no, Marco and Anton. It came all of a sudden after yung talo nila against, like you said, Chile in the finals. Um, I don't really agree with his decision. Mm -hmm. Itong ginawa ni Leo Messi, such an important figure in football. Alam natin, he's the top player in the world right now. So, you know, I think after that big loss, medyo mainit siguro yung ulo niya. Itong uh, si Messi has always been compared dito sa Argentinian great na si Diego Maradona who uh, was responsible for bringing a World Cup dito sa Argentina. Si Messi, four, four major international tournaments, so far not yet successful. Tingin mo, Mikey, dala na rin yun sa frustration kung bakit siya nag-decide na mag-retire dahil sa mga comparisons para matigil na yung comparisons with Maradona. I think, sinabi mo nga, no, Marco, it's four um, major tournaments, finals na Natatalong Argentina. It's not just Messi losing. It's the whole team of Argentina. But there's so much pressure on Messi's shoulders. No, like we said, she's the number one football player in the world. At nakikita rin ng mga Argentinian fans. No, he's playing for Barcelona. At marami siyang nananalo dun sa Barcelona. So para pagdating sa Argentina, it's not. They're just not winning no enough titles. So there's just so much pressure on him. And I think we could say no. We're not in his shoes. We don't know what he's going through, but you know the whole country, like we said, on his shoulders, expecting him to win. You no, know, just like Ginawa ni Maradona in mm. 1986. Mm. So I think, you know, there's just so much pressure on Messi. Okay, before we move on to the Euro 2016, I just want to ask one last thing: How will this affect the legacy of Messi? Kung tuluyan siyang magretiro for international play sa kanyang bansang Argentina. Well, he'll always be one of the top. Mm -mm football players of all time top three for sure but sinabi nyo nga na yung comparison with Maradona it's always gonna be there if he doesn't win a World Cup I think kahit manano siya ng Copa America it's still not the same no mm. winning that World Cup na na deliver naman ni Maradona so he's always gonna have that cloud over him no na he wasn't maybe able to win a World Cup for Argentina Okay, so from the Copa of the America and uh, Messi, punta na mat ngayon yung Euro 2016, Mikey. Give us a quick preview of the quarterfinals, the matchups. I know there's a big match or there's a big matchup there sa bottom half of the bracket. Ka, kindly talk about itong quarterfinals. Well, let's begin now with the first match. Um, it's the Poland versus um, Portugal. Mm -hmm. I think that's going to be a very interesting game. I've been liking um, itong Poland. They've been playing good football and. Pag tinig na yung lineup nila no Marco, there's a couple, three, four, five players who play at top level okay. in Borussia Dortmund in Germany. So they have a lot of experience. Pero yung nga makakalaba nilang Portugal. Yeah. We all know they have one of the greatest goal scorers in Cristiano Ronaldo who can, you know, medyo mabagal yung start niya dito sa tournament ng Euro. But in the last few games, he's picked up. He scored one of the best goals in the tournament, that back heel. So you can expect goals always from Cristiano Ronaldo. So I think that's going to be a, a good game to mm -hmm. see, you know. May isa pang matchup, Germany versus Italy. Mm -hmm. At alam naman natin ang Italy ang kuponan na nakatalo sa Spain. Yes. So I just want to ask you, since you're a Spain guy, uh, Mikey, what went wrong sa Spain? Paano nakalusot ang Italy sa quarterfinals? Well, um, I think everything went wrong that day for Spain. <laughs> <laughs> Tactically wise, on the bench, I think Del Bosque was outcoached by Conte, the Italian coach that day. And I think it, just the players, nakikita natin na they wanted it much more than Spain. I was talking to Marco earlier na, you know, ever since the finals of 2012, nung natalo ng Spain ng Italy, I think pinapaghandaan ng Italy itong game na to, the rematch, no, revenge for the past four years. So you could see it um, the other day, no, just they wanted it more. And I think Spain, Antonio, they've been having, if you watch the way Italy plays, they play with um, three centre-backs as defenders and then with five players in the midfield. Um, they've been having a lot of problems with teams playing that way. Nangyari nga dun sa last World Cup in Brazil against Holland and against Chile, which mm. they've lost those two matches. No? So I think it's that type of play as well na nahihirapan talaga ang Spain. So quickly, Mikey, um, if you don't mind me asking, predictions mo, makalusot. 
Poland, Portugal, Wales versus Belgium, Germany, Italy, France versus Iceland, <laughs> which is the surprise <laughs> yes. thing. Yes. Uh, uh, Dito quarter final. Much of a surprise. No, uh -huh. Well, in the first game, the Poland, Portugal, I think it's going to be a close game, but maybe at the end of the day, I think Cristiano Ronaldo might be able to, you know, finish off the Polish team. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then it's, uh, Wales, Belgium, Young Wales, they have Gareth Bale, he's one of the top scorers as well, but Belgium, um, another team, no, nag start sila, medyo mabaga lang start nila, but yeah. in the last few games, they picked up their game, so I think Belgium will make it through there. Okay. And then sa Italy, Germany, yun, mahirap yun. <laughs> Germany hasn't conceded a goal yet in the whole tournament. Mm. No, they've been, they haven't been playing their best football, no, but yeah. they're, um, I think they're one of the better teams. Italy, they're very difficult to beat, so I think that's going to be a tough game, no? At, yeah. You might even be seeing um, penalty kicks in that ma in that match, extra mm. time. Okay. And then so France, France Iceland. Iceland. On paper, clearly France. They're the host. Uh. They're the better team. But you know, we never know with Iceland. They already put up the upset against England. But I guess I'll have to go for France at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. Who did you pick? So Germany, Italy. That's gonna be close. Um, the team that beat Spain. Of, uh, <laughs> the team. Um, my second team actually is Italy. So okay. I'm gonna. I'm, I'm part. I'm, part Italian as well, oh, you know, oh, so okay. Italy, but it's going to be difficult. It's going to be difficult, I'm going to have to say, beating Germany. Okay. All right. Well, thank you so much, Mikey, oh, for providing your fearless forecast. Yeah. with uh, Mikey Carion. <laughs> thank you, Mikey, for joining Thanks us. Thanks for having me again. For more sports updates, keep watching The Score. And don't forget to subscribe.